Hey, so what's up family? Just wanted to make a video today talking about renewing your life. And the only way to renew your life is to renew your mind. And the only way to renew your mind is through the Word of God. Anything, anytime I'm going to teach anything or, or share anything, it's going to come out of Scripture. That's the only thing I know. And it's the only thing that I choose to know because I know a whole lot of other things from my past, the way I used to live. But I don't live that way no more. I've been made, I've been made new through Christ Jesus. And now I renew my mind through the washing of the word the same way that you need to do if you want to renew your life. And it can change your life forever. The word of God is the only thing that can change your life and transform your life. And I know this to be true. There's nothing more powerful than the word of God. There's nothing more living than the word of God. The word of God in, in Hebrews 4.12 says the word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and spirit, joints and marrow, and is the discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. So it, it, it goes deep within us and it shows us who we really are when we begin to get into the word of God. See, now the word needs to be spiritually discerned. There's many people that can memorize scripture. That don't mean nothing. I don't care how much scripture you know. There's seven people that can, that can um, quote the Bible verbatim by memory in the world, but only one of them is saved. So that don't mean nothing. People can tell you scripture. They can twist scripture. The devil knows scripture. They can twist it any way they want. See, the word of God needs to be spiritually discerned. And I'm going to tell you right now, there's so many people, there's pastors, there's people out there using scripture against people to try to tear them down instead of build them up. The word of God is meant to encourage and build up and edify and to make other disciples and, and to change lives. See, the word of God, when it's used correctly, it transforms lives. And I can tell you, when I became born again, I didn't get born again in a church. I didn't go to a church. I was looking at going to prison and I cried out on my kitchen floor asking Jesus if he, if he was real to reveal himself to me. And my brother came by my house who I didn't even know was a Christian or going to the church at time, brought me a Bible. And he told me, brother, you ain't going nowhere. God has a plan for your life. And I began to read the Bible and I began to read it every single day because I was out of work. I had nothing else to do. And another week went by. And it's when I had this dream and Jesus came to me in a dream and he set me free and delivered me. Um, praise God. He delivered me and all of a sudden my life was changed. I all of a sudden knew that Jesus Christ was Lord. I knew he was God. I had a passion and desire for the word of God and I just kept pursuing him and pursuing him and, I, and I've been on fire ever since. See, I'm, gonna, I'm talking to somebody here today because God has changed your life and you're on fire for God. And I want to tell you, don't let other Christians, don't even let other leaders try to put your fire out. Tell you, oh yeah, that's just your, your uh, everyone gets like that when they first get saved and then, and then uh, your, your fire is going to go down. You're too zealous. Don't let people tell you you're too zealous for anything. Go after God. I tell you and encourage you to go after God. Keep your, keep your zealous zeal for, for Jesus going out and praying for the sick, laying hands on them. Because uh, you know what God has showed you. You know who God has filled you with, his precious Holy Spirit. And he's given you boldness to go do these things. So don't listen to anybody but Christ and the Holy Spirit. Don't listen to nobody but the Holy Spirit when he speaks to you. Be led by the Spirit of God. For these who are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. So don't let no man, don't let no one else tell you that, that you need to tone it down for Christ. Okay? Now, if you're hurting people, you're offending people, okay. The word of God is going to offend people sometimes, but you got to do it in love and you got to do everything with balance. Don't get me wrong. So you, you do have to examine yourself and make sure that your that your motives are right when you're coming at people and that your motives are pure and in love. But I just want to encourage you um, because I believe someone's listening right now that has been born again, that has been divinely changed by the word of God. And Jesus has showed up in your life and you're no longer the same because this is what God is doing in this hour, in this last day. He's taking people that the world has given up on, society has given up on, um, police officers and detention facilities have been locked, been, been um, having these people locked up. And Christ is even coming into the jail cells. He's coming into the prisons and he's transforming lives and he's creating disciples that are sold out for Jesus. See, we're living in the time that playing church, you ain't going to be playing church no more. See, you're going to be exposed in the pulpit. You're going to be exposed in, in your church, in your ministry, because you haven't been taking the things of God seriously. You haven't been taking the call of God on your life seriously. You've been, you've been using it. At, uh, you've been using your platform for selfish gain. 
for 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 a title see god ain't calling anybody to a title he's calling people to be sincere servants of god who will go forth and perform his will and say what he tells them to say and do what he tells them to do amen this is what i'm talking about a church rising up in this day and hour is it's july 25th of 2018 and i'm telling you that more people are going to be saved free uh, dancers in the strip house are going to be set free and delivered they're going to go back and win when they sisters to christ the, the girls that they once uh, swung on the pole with are going to come to Christ. I'm telling you, the, the, dope, the dope addict is going to go back into the dope house and win those dope addicts to Christ. And the power of God is going to fall on them. And they're going to be delivered and set free and be witnesses in the same hood where they once smoked dope and walked around and were called dope fiends and looked down upon. They're going to be moving in the gifts and the power of God and in love and demonstration because they, they have surrendered their life. And God has done amazing things in life. I'm telling you, the gang member... It's going to be transformed and renewed and win, win his, his, his rivals to Christ, win his brothers that used to run the streets with the Christ. I'm telling you, I'm a, uh, God saved me from drugs, from gangs, and from everything else. And I'm a living witness and testimony onto the power of God. And, and God is not calling Christians to just sit in the church. He's calling us to go out and, and be his hands and his feet, to love and to serve and to tell people about the goodness of God. He says, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. And in, 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 in um, what is it? Isaiah 12, he says, uh, you shall draw joyfully from the wells of salvation. You shall draw joyfully. You shall have a peace that surpasses all understanding. See, this is the kind of God that I serve. And there's also peace people listening tonight that haven't known Christ. You feel a void inside of you. You feel like something's missing. You've always known that there's something more out there, but you don't know. You've been searching. You've been searching in New Age. You've been searching in all these other religion in Buddhism. You've been searching in all these other things. But you still have that void inside. I'm going to tell you that void is not going to be fulfilled or filled up until you surrender your life unto Christ and that you seek him with all of your heart, that you surrender unto him with all of your heart and with everything that you have within you, within you. And I'm telling you that the power of God is even going to come upon you. I feel the anointing upon me right now, even as I speak to you. There's a woman out there that has been contemplating suicide and you're 23 years old. And you've been dealing with an ex-boyfriend that's been harassing you and putting you down. And I want to tell you right now that God sees you exactly where you are. And he says that you shall live and not die. You know exactly who you are and who I'm speaking to right now. It's the Spirit of God that speaks through me. And I'm telling you that you shall live and you shall not die. You shall not fulfill the will of the devil. But God's will will be performed in your life. And you will preach the gospel. And you will share your testimony onto others on how God changed your life. And you're going to witness this. Someone's going to come to you this week and they're going to share Jesus with you. And this that shall be your confirmation on what the Lord is going to do in your life. In Jesus name, I want to encourage you right now, everyone who's listening right now, just to just to know that God is real and that God loves you and that he has a plan for your life. He has a purpose for your life. He has a purpose for your life. I want to tell you right now that he loves you. And the way to change your life is to pick up this Bible. Go get a Bible. Call upon Jesus. Call upon Jesus. You're not saved by what you do. You there's no no work you can perform to please Jesus. I'm telling you, he was he he loves you right here where you're at in your in your situation in your state right now. He died for you. He even died for you. This is the gospel that he died for us. Yet when we were still sinners. When I was out gangbanging, when I had the pistol in my hand, when I had the dope sack in my hand, when I was snorting drugs, when I was doing everything that I wasn't supposed to be doing, Christ died for me in my sin at that very place. It's right now where you're sitting in, your very, in the very place of your home as you're watching this video. Christ died for you right now where you're at. He sees your pain. He sees your hurt right now. He sees your hurt. He sees your pain. See, you can't mask it. You can't mask it for too much longer. You've been hiding your pain through the smile, through your friends telling them that everything's okay. But I want to tell you that God has a wonderful plan for your life. And he loves you and he's going to ch turn your life around. This is the gospel. This is the gospel. It's the, power of the, it's the power of the gospel that changed lives. It transforms lives. And I want to tell you that your life can be transformed today by the power of God. And he loves you. He has a purpose and a plan for you. And I'm going to read... Romans 12 to you, and you might say, well, dude's getting in the scripture now. I'm, I'm getting in the scripture because this is what I live by. This is what changed my life. I don't care what goes on, whatever happened, I'm sticking to the word. When I had no money, when I was out of job, Christ delivered me and set me free from going to prison. I didn't do a day in jail after I did time for, for I, 
for my for my second DUI. I was looking at a third DUI going to prison, and that's just what I got caught for. I didn't I didn't uh, go to jail for what I was really doing. I, I I just got caught for DUI, and my third one I was going to prison, and God had mercy on me. As my brother brought me the Bible and told me to stand on the Word of God, and I stood on the Word of God. I didn't do a day in jail. God delivered me, but I was still. I was still out of work. I still had to trust God with my life. And I'll tell you what, if you trust God with your life, you'll never regret it. Give everything over to the Lord today. You've been tug you've been tussling. You've been struggling. You've been trying to do things on your own for too long. And I want to tell you that today is the day of salvation. Right now, not tomorrow, not the next day. Today is the day. Right now where you're at, I pray that you just get on your knees and you cry out to God because God loves you. I pray that you just stretch out your arms and say, Jesus, if you're real, come into my heart and save me. And I'm going to tell you that God is going to come up and reveal himself to you in a way that you can never imagine. And once he does, I'm telling you this word will change your life forever. It don't matter where you're at in your home. You don't need to step into a church. But once I got saved, I got saved. Jesus revealed himself to me through a dream. A week later, I was filled with the Holy Spirit sitting in my kitchen reading the book of John. And after that's when the Holy Spirit put upon my heart to go find a church home. He says, son, you got to go. You got to go get, you got to get linked in. And he sent me to the church where I'm at today. And I just want to encourage you today um, to, 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 to focus, to focus not on the things that are happening to you, but focus on the one that can change everything for you, Jesus Christ. God bless you.